Hello. Today, many engineers are faced with trying to hunt down spurs or artifacts within their designs or boards that they're trying to debug. With the RTO6 oscilloscope, this is now made really simple and much faster to find these spurs. Let's have a look. So here I have an RTO6 oscilloscope looking at a, a TTL signal on my board. Now this is a, um, a 10 megahertz clock signal coming through. And to find spurs, one of the quickest ways would be to turn on things like a, a color table where you can kind of see uh, the persistence of the signal. And I've also turned on a mode called as infinite persistence. So it keeps everything on the screen and nothing gets cleared away. So on the face of it, it looks like a really nice clean signal, hardly any spurs and so on. Now beware, I've actually artificially uh, reduce the capture rate of the scope. So here, if you go into the trigger, and you can actually see I've set up a holdup time of one millisecond. So that translates to about a thousand waveforms per second of capture or trigger rate. Now this is, uh, if you imagine, fairly slow, and this is what might you might have been used to with what you're working at the moment. Now if I go ahead and switch off this hold off time, you then very quickly see that we start capturing all the spurs and artifacts that are actually coming in from the board. And then we can try and isolate where these are coming from. This is achieved by the RTO6's 1 million waveforms capture rate that's allowed us to really see these spurs and artifacts real quickly. I hope that helps in understanding how you can try and solve and debug your boards much, much quicker. Thanks for watching.